Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review for you today. We are going to be talking about Hallmark's White Tea Leaf. Now, this candle that I am reviewing, I actually purchased at my local Marshalls back in early February. This candle is available on the Slatkin & Co. website, but you might be able to come across it at some of those discount retailers, which personally, I was really happy to come across it there, not only because I could get it at a fairly decent price, but also because it gave me the ability to smell the fragrance before committing to a purchase. So this is their standard four wick, 18 ounce vessel with a beautiful picture wraparound label. I still believe that Hallmarks has some of, I don't want to say maybe the best labels in the business, but one of the things that I really appreciate about Hallmarks labels is that they, uh, they light up really well. Like they allow the flames to really illuminate. You just really get the ambiance of burning a candle with their vessels. And so I really appreciate that. Now this fragrance here we have, um, or this candle, I should say, we have a picture here of a pitcher of some white tea, maybe a, looks like a slice of lime there. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get into the fragrance notes, how this candle is performing for me and all that jazz. I do want to let you guys know um, if you did not catch my candle chat video earlier this weekend, I do want to let you guys know that my kids are home this week for spring break. So this week, you guys are going to have to give me a little bit of grace. There might be some background noise. You might see some shadows in the background because children are home. This is their home and I'm not going to make any excuses for them living here. However, I do know sometimes that can be a distraction and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. All right, so the fragrance notes here for white tea leaf are white tea leaf, bergamot, verbena, carnation blossom. The particular pour date of this candle is October 9th of 2023. So let's talk about what my nose is smelling on this. You guys, this fragrance is really pretty. I am actually really enjoying this fragrance for the springtime. The way that I would describe this is I don't really think that it falls into one particular category, like either fresh or spa-like, or it's definitely not a gourmand. It's not overly floral, um, and it's also not overly fruity. I feel like it takes a little bit from each one of those categories, not gourmand, but it takes a tiny bit of floral. It takes a little bit of that fruity citrus fragrance, and it also has like a calming vibe to it without it being your stereotypical lavender or other like eucalyptus or, you know, the typical fragrances that they tend to use in a lot of quote unquote spa like fragrances. My nose definitely gets a white tea fragrance here, although this is not like a brewed tea. So for example, um, another fragrance that this candle actually pairs really nicely with is Country Candle's new Lemon Tea and Roses. And that fragrance though, you definitely smell a brewed lemon tea. This to me definitely has the green note of white tea. So it's not, again, white tea is more of like a delicate type of tea. It's not as bold as say a black or a chai tea. You would find something like that in let's say Kringle Candles Tea Time, or you might even get more of a tea note in, I think there was like a, an iced tea fragrance that was out last summer from Hallmarks. This is definitely, I would say, probably the most delicate of any tea fragrances that I personally have tried. Now, in terms of the citrus note that I'm picking up, I think that that is that bergamot and verbena notes that are listed in here. Again, very delicate citrus. This is not your smack you in the face lemon or orange or lime. It's just a very calm, nice, fruity citrus fragrance. And I will tell you that while I didn't really pick it up so much on cold sniff, when this candle is lit, I do detect a hit, a hint of floral in the background, and that is that carnation coming through. Now, if you caught that candle chat video last or last weekend, like it was so long ago, it was this weekend. If you caught that video, you guys know that I actually have some scent memories tied to carnation fragrances, both pleasant and unpleasant fragrance um, scent memories with it. But when I was a kid, I had a lot of dance recitals and dance performances. That's 
something that I did in my childhood. And I always remember my dad bringing me a little bouquet that had carnations in them um, for each one of my recitals. And then um, I also, when um, it was probably, oh goodness, now almost 17 years ago now, um, my husband and I, I've always talked about that we have three children. I have actually had four children, but unfortunately I lost my first child right before birth. And I remember um, a sweet friend had brought over a care basket when I came home from the hospital. And in that basket was a candle that was a carnation fragrance. And so it has taken me a long, long time to be able to burn anything that really has a carnation note in it just because you guys scent is very powerful it's very much connected to memory and for a long time it always um, kind of triggered those sad memories for me now i enjoy I, I now i can enjoy fragrance or carnation fragrances a little bit more um, i do start to associate them more with happier memories from my childhood but Anyways, sorry for that little uh, tangent down memory lane there, but carnation, I do like the smell of carnations because they're not overly heady and headache inducing for me. Fragrances like rose or uh, lily, sometimes those can be a little bit too much for me, but carnation I feel like is like a softer floral fragrance and I definitely pick that up in the background. Overall, I would describe this fragrance as, again, a delicate, pretty, uh, spring, spring type, type of fragrance. I really, really enjoy this. I could see this actually being a good spring and summer type of fragrance. If you are a seasonal burner and if you're not, well, then you might just enjoy it all year long. It's really nice in the morning. I think that that's the time of day that I've really particularly enjoyed burning this candle. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle because we know Hallmarks <laughs> has had its ups and downs. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the camera up here so you can go ahead and see how it is performing. So I have burned about two thirds of the wax here. You can see a little bit of wick residue has fallen into the wax pool. However, that is not affecting the fragrance. Now the wicks on this candle are those thinner style of wicks. However, I am not having any issues with the wicks falling over. I do not trim these wicks at all. So there was a point earlier on in the burn where I felt like the wicks were looking a little long, they were looking a little crazy, and I resisted the urge to trim them because I knew that if I trim this style of wick, they will develop that kind of puny wick syndrome. These wicks do self-trim in my experience. Like I said, you see a little bit of that wick residue falling into the wax pool. Uh, they're not getting overly sooty or developing those huge carbon balls on here. Now, a thing that you guys should know is that I do use a wick dipper to extinguish the flames. And that is also a really useful tool in case you have a wick that falls over. I haven't had that experience with any of my Hallmarks candles. I know some people in the Hallmarks Facebook group have complained about that, but personally, I have not experienced that. Now, I do tend to um, not let my Hallmarks candles burn any longer than four hours. I usually cap it at that period of time. But if you don't have a wick dipper, you can probably find one pretty inexpensively on say Amazon. And those have been a really use, that has been a really useful tool for me to be able to not only extinguish the wicks, but also be able to stand them back up and kind of reposition them. So that way when the wax hardens, I feel like they are set up nicely for the next burn. Strength and throw on this candle. Like I said, this is a delicate fragrance. However, I can smell it really well. I would give this one about a seven in terms of strength and throw. The throw actually, to be honest with you guys, I might give more of like a seven and a half to. I feel like the throw on this candle is surprisingly a little bit better than the actual strength of the candle. Now remember you guys, this is not a spicy fragrance. The fragrance notes in here are very delicate by nature. And I think sometimes for me personally, and everybody can have a different opinion about this, but sometimes I have to keep that in mind when I am setting my expectations for how strong I think a candle should be. If the fragrance notes listed are delicate in nature, they're not going to be powerhouse smack me in the face. That's just not what I'm going to expect from it. Whereas say I'm burning a candle that has a fragrance note in there like cinnamon or brown sugar or something like that. Those are very heavy fragrance accords. So to me, this one, I feel like it's performing just as well as I would expect it to. 
it, like I said, it's throwing pretty well throughout my open concept living area. I will insert some B-roll here in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen, you know, how I am gauging this. I live in an approximately 20 year old single story home. I live in Arizona. So our well, room temperature right now is around 72 degrees because we are experiencing beautiful weather right now. This is prime time. If you guys ever want to visit the state of Arizona, come February through April. This is probably the most beautiful time of year to visit. Um, but anyways, we are having beautiful weather here. Let's see, the uh, square footage of my home is approximately 1,800 square feet. Like I said, open concept and with high ceilings in the living room going into the kitchen, more closed concept in the bedrooms. I definitely uh, smell this fragrance a lot more strongly or stronger, strong, it's strong. How about we'll just put it that way. Yep, let's use some proper grammar here, Katie. It's definitely stronger in my bedroom, which of course has lower ceilings and is a smaller room, but I definitely smell it all throughout my living room and into my kitchen when I am burning it in my living room. So overall, you guys, I actually give this candle two thumbs up. I actually really enjoy this fragrance. One of my favorite ways or some of my favorite pairings, like I said, are with the new country candle, lemon tea and roses. I have also really enjoyed burning this alongside Bath and Body Works Daffodil Daydreams. So if you happen to have either of those fragrances currently in your collection and you're always looking for ways to come up with fragrance combinations, that has been a really nice combo for me, one that I have thoroughly been enjoying. Um, let me know if you guys have come across this candle in your local discount retailers, or if you guys are happening to see any Hallmarks candles in your retailers. Mine have not been very good lately. They are not performing, or not performing very well. They're just not getting a whole lot of new inventory, and I don't know what is up with that. Um, and you guys know, in the past, I've been a little bit hard on the performance of the candles that I've picked up from those discount retailers, but this one has been performing surprisingly well for me and I will give credit where credit is due. This candle is also available last I checked on the Slatkin and Co website. Full disclosure, I am a Hallmarks brand ambassador. You guys heard me say I did not purchase this or bleh, I did purchase this candle. It was not sent to me in PR. I will always disclose that in my candle reviews upfront at the beginning of a review if something was sent to me in PR. And like I said, I do have a discount code with Hallmarks. It is Katie's Joyful Life. It will save you 15% off of orders over $40 over at the Slatkin & Co website. That discount code is an affiliate code. It is eligible for commission. So if you choose to use it, I thank you very much for doing so in supporting my channel. But if you're not comfortable using affiliate codes, please don't use that. So I think that's it for this one. Let me know if you guys have burned this candle, if this one that has intrigued you. Um, any feedback, I always love down in the comment box, as long as you are remaining respectful of myself and others within our community. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, I like to talk all things candles here. I do dedicated reviews, hauls, empties, and everything in between. Hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.